Okay, so there it is. You've uh, heard from the man Mikel Arteta and you've heard from uh, Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel, remember, has uh, seen it before. He knows what to do to get there because the last time it was with Chelsea. So uh, games are coming off this evening. Now we know a set of two. We're waiting to see uh, which other set of two uh, will get to join. Uh, is anybody able to break this uh, Real Madrid jinx that they're able to uh, push beyond the stage of the competition on most of occasions? Well, we'll get to see later this evening when we have the next set of games in the UEFA Champions League. Well, let's now talk some boxing because the United Boxing Coaches Association of Ghana is charting a new course in terms of leadership and are looking forward to using uh, their body or their uh, executive body and the new leadership to better the lot of Ghana boxing. So at the weekend, uh, uh, an official handing over ceremony was performed at a special dinner where uh, Coach Charles Quarte, who is a former naval officer, um, you know, Air Force officer, sorry, uh, was, was, you know, was outdoored officially to the rest of the boxing community in Ghana together with his executive. So he's here with Coach Carl Loco. You all remember him from his exploits uh, with uh, Richard Comey and then eventually uh, John Lai, the current WBO Africa, uh, is a lightweight, lightweight champion? Featherweight, featherweight, featherweight champion. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Good to see you. Good to see you. And congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very well, very well. Look, um, there's a lot of work to do uh, from the end of you, the boxing trainers. Um, a lot of the time, the criticism that is brought before a lot of you is that you, you don't have what it takes. I mean, and I'm, I'm sure you also hear this all the time. What is the difference between a boxing trainer here in Ghana uh, as against one from maybe South Africa, Algeria, Egypt, or, or elsewhere, or Nigeria, for instance? What, what is it that is making people so uncertain? And what don't they know about the quality you have mm -hmm. as boxing coaches? Uh, first of all, I'll say a big thank you for mm. hosting us, mm. for us to, you know, um, tell you guys about our story or what we've been doing very well behind the scene uh, mm. people don't know very well um, most of the time people don't know what we've been doing to train these boys very well you know these boys sometimes we take these boys from the streets you know we train them we feed them uh, we teach them to to read the west stage um, let me say outside the country or let me say America or mm. Europe you know they have everything but we struggle to buy all the training equipment for us. You know, we don't have any sponsorship from nowhere. We so you use your own, my your man, own resources as well. well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we don't get anything from outside. So that's why sometimes people say, oh, um, Ghanaian coaches, they are not good. And we, um, we don't have people that, you know, they will bring experts from outside to come and train um, the coaches over here. Like I did this uh, no, last year. I brought some guys from um, German, my partners from German, to come and train the coaches over here. We need um, trainers from outside to come and train our local trainers. You know, we cannot say boxing is like the way we've been teaching the bosses, like, uh, let me say, uh, traditional boxing. You know, we need to, you know, change the game, uh, our game, our game style, you understand? To learn from our outsiders, you know, so, you know, we are doing our best. But people think our best is not enough, so <laughs> that was just too much. Okay. Yeah, Carl. Uh, Nika, you, you are also an example of somebody who's done a lot of sacrifice. I mean, I'm looking back at the number of, um, you know, the number of boxers that you have, have trained, both in Ghana and, and outside, in Europe and, and the Americas as well. Um, as, you, as you all take office now, what will be the focus of, of this, this administration together with your president. What is the focus in terms of how to better your lot and also make impact in, in boxing? Mm -hmm. no, thank you. Long time. Yeah. Um, I, I, I per se will say that I, I don't believe that um, we don't have good coaches here. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that, I mean, uh, the same coaches over here who are making sure our boxers winning medals, where are they training from? They are training from Ghana. If we, are not, if we are not putting some kind of trust and belief in the coaches, then we'll always be seeing the negative side of it. Um, comparing Africa, talking about Ghana and South Africa and wherever in Africa, we're doing good. It is all about, as my president said, if we we'll get more seminars, we'll get more 
um, lectures to the coaches because I always say that boxing is not only about going to the gym and punch the back and punch the meat and stuff, but you need more to talk about boxing so that the cheering aspect of what you are teaching or what you are doing will make the whole package become one. So I believe that um, we're doing good, but we have to better whatever we are doing, especially um, that we are now on board as a new uh, elected executives to make sure the boxing uh, move very well. So we'll still do our best. We'll still impact what we have also gone outside there to, I mean, to learn. What we have gone outside there to see, uh, we'll try and impact it into our, our fellow, I mean, I mean, partners or members mm. as coaches. Mm. Now, um, in terms of, of the program for, for you as a, as a body, what are the immediate uh, steps and measures you want to take you know, going forward? Okay, um, first of all, we want to register all the boxes okay. in the gyms because the movement of the boxes, it creates a lot of problems. You know, every time um, one coach will say, hey, um, Charles Scotty has stolen my boxer or Mr. Carr has stolen my boxer. So this time around, we want to register all the boxes from all the gyms. So the movement of the boxes, if you, if you know you are in Charles Scotty gym, you are moving to um, Carlocos gym, you need to take um, uh, like uh, how they do it in uh, football, yeah. you have to have a card. You take a card from here to go to the next level. So f if you are moving, you know, you pay 10%. So if you go to, um, uh, let me say, um, you move from your mother's gym to um, gym B, you need to pay a percentage in your mother's gym. Okay. So we are trying to register the gym. We'll bring all the coaches together and we'll make sure we do the right thing. Wow, interesting stuff there. Now... With all of this, um, I'm also wondering um, how good is the collaboration between the body, that is the Ghana Boxing Coaches Association, and the GBA, who are your key partners, and also the Ghana Boxing Federation? I think um, GBA and the GBF, we want to work all together. We want to work with them. You know, we don't have a problem with them. You know, we, we just finished a lesson. We send them a letter. So I think next, tu uh, next Tuesday we meet and, you know, we have to see the way forward because we cannot work um, alone, you know, we work with the uh, GBA, GBF, all the stakeholders, you know, we have to come together to make sure, you know, we raise um, the Ghana boxing higher. We have to put the Ghana boxing in the limelight. So we have to work together, you know, it's not like we are coming to fight anybody. We are coming to make sure they do the right thing. You know, with the, the way uh, boxing is going on now, some of us, you know, we don't like it. So we are here to make sure they do the boxing properly. Okay. Uh, Carl, um, in moving forward, you, for instance, have a boxer who uh, you are training, uh, you know, John Lai, who is a very big prospect for the world stage. Um, if you do an assessment now, um, how good is Ghana looking for the next stage or getting the next set of young boxers who will take over from, uh, you know, the, 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 the era of the Richard Comeys, the Isaac Dugways and, and all of those who, and, and the Emmanuel Tegos who are currently our top most ranked boxers? Yeah, um, always we have to understand that to get a world title, a world champion, it's a process. It's a process in the sense that um, you don't just rush a boxer. Um, to the world stage, that you just won a world title, so you are just pushing the boxer to be there. Um, uh, with the example of John Lai that you mentioned, I mean, he turned professional at the age of 18 years, and we, are, we have keep pushing him over here in Ghana, and now he's in the ranking. So that tells you that we have gradually pushing him through, through, through the mill so that he can get to the, the, to the, um, to the championship level in time and matured. Um, so... If we, the handlers of John Lai, are doing the right thing as we are doing now, uh, we believe he's one of the potential, I mean, boys or talents that can give Ghana a, a world champion, a world title. Because other people also are doing the same, that they are building their boxes. And this advice will go to my colleagues, I mean, all the, all the gyms, and even the managers. Because sometimes, some of the managers think when they come into the sport, um, quickly, I mean, the boxers should start going out there and fight for them maybe to get to recoup whatever they have put in. But I'll tell them that it takes a lot. That is why over there in America, in the Europe, the, the, the difference is you see them becoming a champion more than the way how we have been coming champion. Because the process 
it's not a short process. It's a long process. So you have to take your time and build the boys to get to the level. You know we have done it before. Or I have been part of um, coaches who have been doing it. And um, I believe in uh, the patient aspect or the build-up to, to get there. All right, guys. So uh, we've been hosting the uh, United Boxing Coaches Association of Ghana. And they uh, have a new leadership led by Coach uh, Charles Quarte and uh, his vice is uh, Coach Carl Loco. And they want to focus on, you know, getting the membership together and also making sure that boxers and their movement from gym to gym uh, is done in a structured way. They're also looking forward to creating more in terms of uh, the young ones and taking them through the proper system so they can get out there. And we're expecting some more training programs as well. So uh, in wrapping up the conversation, a final quick 45-second uh, message from you to uh, Ghanaians. Coach. Yeah, um, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the coaches that came and voted for us. You know, I know they have uh, confidence in us. You know, this rest assured that you know, we'll do the good job for them. We'll make sure we we'll put Ghana buses in the uh, limelight. Thank you very much. So uh, that's it for sport for this morning. And um, do expect a lot more from the coaches. Carl Loco will come back here very soon because he has an immediate uh, international assignment. Okay, so just before I go, today my first daughter, my first child, uh, is celebrating a birthday. So that's, that's us. Take a look at her. Uh, Nora Simone Atto is my daughter, and uh, she's celebrating her birthday today. So nice happy birthday nice to you, to uh, Nora Simone. Uh, yeah, big one. Lovely, big one. lovely big young lady. Love one. you to bits, uh, Nora Simone. Uh, All right, guys. So uh, a lot more to come as we get to the finish line of the show. Stay right here with us on Prime Morning. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and I have love for sport.